Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, March the 6th, 2019, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Mixed bag in the precious metals today with silver and platinum trading lower on the day, gold and palladium trading higher. But what I'm finding most interesting today is basically a break in the routine that we've seen over the last nine trading days. We have seen a consistent level of lower highs and to some degree lower lows. They haven't been consistent, but as the market moved down, that was one of the overall characteristics. Even though we got that doji candle in three of the four precious metals yesterday, it still contained a lower low and a lower high than the day before. However, today we have a higher low and a higher high than the day before. What we'll talk about during our technical studies is the fact that we did run into our first level of resistance in gold, but all in all, it seems as though we are finding some solid support. Let's go to pricing for the day. First of all, gold up $2.90. Currently trading at $1,287.60. Silver, as I said, did trade lower on the day, $1,509, down about one cent. Very, very small change. Platinum, though, did lose well over a full percent, $828.80, down $920. And palladium is once again the star, up $28.70 at $1,494.60, just five plus dollars away from breaching $1,500 once again. On today's show, I do want to cover two markets, and that would be palladium and gold. Those are the two markets that did close higher on the day, palladium substantially higher. But gold has got some interesting characteristics when we look at the last three days. As I said in our opening comment, the fact of the matter is, is that today was the first day in nine trading days, actually this being the 10th, in which we had the market trade with a higher low, as well as a higher high. If you recall from yesterday's show, I talked about the fact that even though we had that doji-like candle, which signified the potential uh, that this market would find some support, it still maintained a lower low and a lower high. Now, the other thing on the other side, that caveat, so to speak, is the high of the day. As you know, the resistance that we're currently looking at resides at about 1,291.20. That is the 0.38% retracement, and that is within ticks of today's high. I really would like to see this market barrel through this particular price point for me to feel as though we have the technical evidence that the market is going to be moving higher. In terms of the lower level support right now, we're pegging it at the 0.48% tracement point, which is 1275. We've talked about that. I still believe we have resistance at 1291 with major resistance at about 1300. And so we want to see the market obviously breach above this particular price point. And the real price point that I want to see it breach above, of course, is the 50-day moving average. Therefore, for the time being, we will remain flat with no active trades in gold, silver, platinum, or palladium. And traders, the next market that I do want to look at today is palladium. Of course, palladium has been on an absolute tear. We're going to look at this chart in a couple of different ways. It is currently set for monthly, so we can look at the big picture. And when I mean the big picture, I am talking about these bottoms that were hit back at the beginning of 2016 up to current pricing. We also have an extension. The extension, in essence, runs from 450 up to 1137 and then we begin our extension at the beginning of what i'm considering to be a wave three if in fact we're correct and it is a wave three we can expect much higher pricing of course we wouldn't get necessarily a parabolic move straight up but i find it interesting that the one-to-one -one relationship is currently pretty much precisely where this market's at and that to me is pretty interesting. So we could see a little bit more downside based on where it is located, but my sense is, is at some point we should see that market move up. Next, we'll take this over into a weekly candlestick chart. What we can see here is that we really have seen a strong recovery from these lows that were achieved, but it's the daily that gives us really the most information in terms of 
current pricing. And that's because what we're seeing is that we've taken out the lows that were hit the other day, of course. We did have a higher low. We did have a higher high than yesterday. And we still have this top sitting at 1550. So based upon that, my sense is that we could see Palladium begin to move back up. We'll have to see one day does not make a key reversal, but a key reversal does occur in a single day. We just need a couple more days to confirm that that, in fact, is what has happened. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.